What's going on, everybody? Here at Oakwood Cemetery in Lynette, Alabama. Good old Lynette, Alabama. This is a uh, small little community out here. We're visiting the dollhouse grave of little Miss Nadine. She passed away at the age of four, one week before she turned five, as a matter of fact. So we're going to walk around and check the cemetery out, and then we'll go visit the dollhouse when we're done. Yeah, there's some some graves that have uh, been to dust. Yeah, I'm afraid to walk out there. Yeah, I don't know if I'd get out there either. 1827 God. to 1847. Yeah, what am I thinking of? Yep. Oh, 1927. 1847 to 1927. That's uh, some oldies. So I Yeah, while we walk around, let me do a little talking about little Miss Nadine. She wasn't five, like I said, when she passed away in 1933. Oh, wow. It was December, and all she wanted for Christmas was a dollhouse. A wish her father was busy working to fulfill. 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 Nadine became sick. In the 30s, you know, things were a little different. Medicine was not where it is today. And she got diphtheria at age four. Julian and Alma were understand understandably distraught. They were upset. His sick daughter, in some of her last words, told her dad, me want it now. Little Miss Nadine passed away on the 18th of December, just one week away from her birthday. Her parents still made sure that her wish was fulfilled and built her a dollhouse which we're going to see here in a little bit it's now made a brick to ensure its longevity the small little brick bungalow has the makings of a real house with a front porch striped awnings even a mailbox flower boxes in the summer and Christmas lights in the winter we can go ahead and walk on over there. After the house was installed, the parents, Julian and Alma, filled it with a collection of toys, dolls, uh, a baby buggy, even a high chair, all to be all kept neat and tidy. When we go over there, what may look like a bed inside the dollhouse is in fact her grave. After her death, her mom and dad you know kept everything up and eventually they passed away and they're buried here too and now it is manicured by the city they've taken it over since the passing of the mom and dad but yeah here we go let's walk on over and see what we got that's one of those old timey cemeteries too you know yeah there's one over there like the the how it's made out of rock around it oh yeah yeah that's really neat Let's see if we can't do all this in one cut like this one actual just yeah, yeah 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 so here we go and it is right on the main road as you come to the cemetery it is right here like there is no mistaking where it's at that's for sure so here it is It has its own little walkway. You can see where people have left things, little trinkets. My luck, I'd fall into it, tripping like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is neat. I, I don't know which one. Let's see which parent. So that's the father over there, and here's mom. There's Alma that we were just talking about. She passed away in 81, and the dad, he passed away in 76. There's Julian right there. So let's take a peek. The shingles look like they're brand new. Yeah, they really do. Well, they said the city makes sure the upkeep is done really well on it. 
and it does look like a bed that's for sure you can see right in there it's got a, it's got a dub bolt on it yeah which it should yeah. and see there's the baby bed and the high chair and there's like a uh oh it's got carpet that's pretty cool yeah that is really neat good job all she wanted was a dollhouse and on the tombstone in there that we can't really get to that's what it says me want it pretty cool yeah they did a really good job you do what you do for your kids man yeah whatever they want anything I wish I had something to put on there. So that's Little Miss Nadine's grave. Right there. Thank you guys for coming along for this. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free doing so. It doesn't cost anything. But we do have a new membership channel. Next to the sub subscribe button, you'll see a button that says join. We have three different plans there where you can you know, donate a little money to help us get to these places and do the things that we do. And thank you so much for getting us where we've got to. Without you, it wouldn't be possible. And you know what? You never know what you're gonna find on the back roads. <laughs>